Georgia Department of Transportation introduces variable speed limits on I-285 top end. Slow down to get there faster. It's no secret that Interstate 285 is one of the most congested roadways in Georgia. With up to 100,000 more drivers and twice as many interchanges than the southern section, there's significant congestion on the northern section of I-285, or I-285 top end. During rush hour travel, navigating this interstate is often frustrating and challenging with stop and go traffic. Vehicles quickly weave in and out of bumper to bumper congestion, attempting to find the fastest lane, which increases the risk of collisions. Add inclement weather to the mix, and you have the perfect storm of bottleneck traffic and significant travel delays. Help is on the way. Beginning in September 2014, the Georgia Department of Transportation will introduce variable speed limits on I-285 top end and increase the speed to 65 miles per hour. Variable speed limits allow you to slow down to get there faster. By encouraging cars to travel at a slower, more uniform pace, variable speed limit technology helps to get you where you're going safer and more quickly. 24-7 real-time monitoring and electronic signage inform drivers to incrementally reduce their speed in congested areas, allowing vehicles to gradually slow to a steadier pace. This reduces bottlenecks and stop-and-go traffic, ultimately resulting in fewer accidents. So how will this technology work? Based on traffic volumes, weather, road conditions, and through careful monitoring of the I-285 top end, Electronic variable speed limit signs will lower the speed limit in 10 mile per hour increments from 65 miles per hour to 35 miles per hour, depending on the upcoming roadway conditions. The variable speed limit system also helps to improve air quality, decrease fuel costs, and reduce time spent idling in traffic. The system will include 176 total signs in 88 locations along the corridor. The signs will be placed a half mile to one and a half miles apart along the corridor to provide ample time for drivers to adjust their speed. Once the congestion is cleared, the speed limit will return to 65 miles per hour. The variable speed limit system also includes larger strategically placed overhead message signs that will provide travelers with information on upcoming congestion, incidents, anticipated drive times, and other important travel information. Variable speed limits provide a steadier and more predictable traffic flow, decrease stop-and-go traffic, limit unnecessary weaving by drivers attempting to get in a faster lane, and decrease accidents, ultimately offering you a safer ride, improved travel times, and gas savings and better air quality by reducing the time you spend idling in traffic. National traffic studies have shown that traveling at a slower, more consistent speed during peak hours can eliminate the stop-and-go traffic that increases the chance of collisions. So slow down to get there faster. Washington State saw a 13% reduction in overall collisions, including a 10% drop in injury-related crashes after introducing variable speed limits on a section of Interstate 5. So slow down to get there faster. Variable speed limits on the top end 285 will decrease congestion, improve travel times, reduce accidents offering safer travel, decrease stop and go traffic, saving gas, and reduce idling which improves air quality. For more information on variable speed limits, please visit the Georgia Department of Transportation's website.